there are at least 25 active volcanoes in the Philippines but I'm going to discuss the 10 most active volcanoes in the Philippines Kaya, let's get started guys Why Philippines has too many volcanoes? It's because it sits in the western portion of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Kaya hindi lang volcanoes ang nandito sa Pilipinas. It's also earthquakes, mga ganon. Kaya the Philippines is prone to volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, yung mga tsunamis due to the, the location within the Ring of Fire. Kaya let's begin now to the 10 most active volcanoes in the Philippines. And without further ado, let's begin with the first one, the actively erupting Taal Volcano. And for your information, Taal Volcano is the second most active volcano in the Philippines with at least 35, if I'm not mistaken, eruptive history including ngayon. And why this volcano is one of the most dangerous in the world? It's because it sits in the Taal Lake. Uh, 25 by 18 kilometer wide caldera so it is a considerable super volcano because it's it is a caldera kaya malaki siya and if ever the whole lake will erupt it will be catastrophic in the island of Luzon so there will be hundreds of thousands of people who will be affected by this eruption so as you can see here grabe medyo talagang nakakatakot ang volcano ito small but terrible volcano yeah and then let's proceed with the second mayon volcano and as we all know this is the most active volcano in the philippines as well as the world's most perfectly shaped cone so ganyan siya it's a conical shaped volcano located in the Bicol region, in particular in Albay. Kaya ang ganda niya, one of the most picturesque na sceneries sa Albay. And let's proceed with the third most active volcano in the Philippines. And as you can see, over in the Western Visayans region, as uh, we can see this beautiful mountain over here, Canlaol Volcano. Ayan. And yung, mga, yung history niya, uh, kung yung mayon is meron siyang more than 50 or 50 eruptive history ang kanlaon naman is meron po siyang 25 na eruptions in recorded history that's why this is a dangerous volcano ang kanlaon volcano and let's proceed with the fourth most active volcano in the Philippines ang Bulusan Volcano ayan so katabi ng mayon in Sorsogon province it's a uh, Bulusan Volcano so in that, ano, in this picture, ayan siya. And as you can see, talagang prominent yung kanyang uh, um, itsura. And yes, meron siya at least uh, 17, 15 to 17 eruptions in history. And now, let's proceed with yung fifth na active volcano, which is yan, uh, Hibok Hibok in the island of Kamigit. And I was there no November, so buti na lang tahimik yung lugar na yan, geologically active but silent when I went there. And then, ang dami, ang, ang dami magagandang places na pwede yung i-visit sa um, Kamigin Island. So, here it is, the uh, Hibok Hibok and yung mga ibang, ano niya, yung mga ibang vents. Kaya, ganyan siya. And let's proceed with the other active volcano. Ayan, and we proceed to the Smith Volcano located in the Batanes group of islands. I'm not sure kung Batanes yan, bab babuyan. Ayan. Um, bagong bago siya. And as you can see, talagang younger looking na cinder cone ang volcano na yan. Because it just erupted. Yung last eruption niya is 1924 if I'm not mistaken. So, isa rin siya sa mga most active volcanoes in the Philippines. O, oh, ba? Tapos, Let's proceed with, ayan, itong Pinatubo, Mount Pinatubo, located in yung sa Central Luzon. So, ayan, super laki ng bunga nga ng bulkan, ayan. And nung tumutok siya ng 1991, it was the second largest eruption in um, the world, um, secondary to Nova Rapta. Ayan, so ganyan kalaki yung bunga nga ng Mount Pinatubo. It uh, awakened after between 400 to 500 years. Yeah, hindi, hindi pa ako sure dyan. But 
gany- uh, yan yung parang duration of eruptive history niya. 400 to 500 years. Kaya nakakatakot sumabog siya. Ayan. We proceed to the I- volcanoes in the island of Mindanao. Mount Parker, similarly in Mount Pinatubo. Same na same, identical yung itsura niya. Tsaka yung pagka explosivity ng kanilang eruption. So, Mount Parker, ayan, uh, erupted in 1641 na ganyan, na siya ng crater. And then, it is a sacred mountain according to the Tiboli tribe. So, ayan po si Mount Parker. And proceeding with Mount Muswan, ayan, as you can see, parang ang tahimik ng, ng itsura ng volcano na yan. It has a prominence. Medyo maliit lang siya na volcano. But, It erupted sometime in 1880s or 1887. Ayan. And then, ngayon, merong satellite na um, cell site na nakatayo sa top of that volcano. Um, siguro, ano, hindi nila alam ata yung consequences if you're going to establish a structure at the top of an active volcano. Kaya nakatakot yung itsura ng structure na yan. And then, last but not the least, etong si Mount Kagwa. located in Cagayan province dun sa May Luzon. And this volcano is ano um, very parang irregularly uh, shaped or sized because yung slope dun sa slope ng mountain dun lumalabas yung mismong singaw. So over there you can already observe the sulfur deposits tsaka umaalingasaw na ng mga kumukulong mga mud. Kaya This uh, volcano also erupted way back in 1904. Ayan, so I'm, I'm not mistaken. Yung correct na ano niya. Um, early in the 19th century, ayan, um, sumabog po itong volcano na ito. We have here yung ibang potentially active volcanoes which also have numerous na hot, hot springs, yung mga ganyan. And uh, although hindi evident yung crater nila, but talagang meron silang mga history, lalo na sa mga locals. Meron mga istorya ng mga locals about this potentially active volcanoes. Another active volcano is Mount Matutum. Ayan, if you're not aware about Mount Matutum, nasa South Cotabato po siya. Although there is no eruptive history, but then very active ang kanilang uh, sulfur uh, sites niya. Ang dami niyang hot springs. And then very prominent ang kanyang shape. And then, don't underestimate the power of volcanoes kasi talagang makikita mo na volcano na volcano yung dating niya and kapag puputok yan, delikado po yung mga nasa tabi niya. Mount Apo, the highest mountain in the Philippines. Mount Apo is a very, very large stratovolcano. As you can see, medyo prominent yung kanyang cone. And kapag sumabog siya, ang daming mapeperwisyo, lalo na sa mga areas ng Davao, yung Davao provinces, Davao City. Ayan. So, delikado po yan pag sasabog. Yung secondly, yung Mount Santo Tomas here in Benguet. So, Mount Santo Tomas, ang dami niyang hot springs surrounded, surrounding the volcano. And as you can see, um, hindi mo alam kung asan dyan yung uh, prominent na, na area kung saan yung talagang crater niya. However, meron merong parang eruptive history nung 1641. Parang similar uh, scenario with Mount Parker na medyo nagkaroon ng activity but not confirmed. Although, Um, this Mount Santo Tomas is still considered a potentially active volcano. Ayan. And let's proceed with Mount Makiling. Ayan. Uh, Mount Makiling is a potentially active volcano. Kaya ang Laguna is uh, hot spot capital of the Philippines because it is situated in the uh, vicinity of um, Mount Makiling. Ayan, kaya ang dami-daming hot springs And nakapunta din ako sa isa sa mga hot spring resorts Diyan sa Mount Makiling, dun sa uh, Santa Rosa ba yun? If I'm not sure Ayan. And then, Mount Banahaw So, it is Mount Banahaw Over here, it is a complex volcano Kung makikita nyo uh, Ang dami niyang prominent features Ayan. So, Mount Banahaw has also an unconfirmed eruption history Kaya... Um, yung mga geologists consider this as a potentially active volcano. And last but not least, Mount Arayat. Ayan. Kaya kung nakikita nyo itong Mount Arayat, nag-iisa lang siya. The loneliest mountain. Kasi wala siyang kasama mga bundok. And very prominent yung pagka-conical shape niya. So, this is a potentially active volcano. Kasi nga, di ba, nag-iisa lang siya. And 
talagang medyo protruding yung kanyang itsura. So, ganyan yung itsura ng Mount Araya. Kaya, kapag dadaan ka sa NLEX or TPLEX sa may start ng TPLEX from Tarlac, ayan, makikita nyo yung Mount Araya. So, diba? So, this is it guys. My um, discussion of top 10 most active volcanoes and other potentially active volcanoes here in the Philippines. So, if you want more updates and stories about me, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channels. I am over here and here. And if you want more uh, updates or ask questions, just reach me out in my Facebook page, Instagram, and Twitter, The Story of Anthony. So, hanggang dito na lang po. Thank you for listening to my story. Oh, once again, ingat po, ka ingat po tayong lahat and goodbye.